Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Hunter Hunter, you guys. Last episode was like way, <laughs> it was way too intense. The episodes building up to that were tense, but like last time was just, I really honestly didn't know where it was going. There was zero predictability and there was just so much emotion you guys um it was a lot it was a lot so I will get into it but first off I do just want to say if you're joining me early today you know just what that means it means you are one of my awesome patrons thank you so much and as always I'm sending out those big old hugs right through that screen and if not still thank you for joining me today I'm glad you're here I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way the link to my patreon is going to be in that description down below and if you are joining me on those YouTubes I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me thank you so much um yeah guys so I gave up I gave like an essay at the end of my last reaction so I'm probably not going to recap like every single thing but I will just say that I'm I'm really upset about the go and kill thing like I don't want I don't want this to happen at the expense of their friendship. You know, I get that we're on a mission. I get that we have something to do. Um, but I just feel like this new power, it's not even new power because Gone has had, we've had many people say that like Gone is scary powerful. And I feel like he's just really tapped into that. Maybe perhaps with the fuel of this rage and revenge against Pito. Um, but this more recent discovery of his power anyway we'll say that I just feel like everything else is kind of falling away when he's tapped into it and that's not a good thing <laughs> it's especially ironic when you consider that like here is Kilo as someone who is actually hypnotized into like fulfilling you know, whatever his brother saw fit, um, who has now regained that sense of control with a lot of motivation from the friendship that he has with Gone. And now having to watch Gone go through this scenario where, in a way, Gone's not really in control here. I feel like the rage is. Um... It's just kind of ironic and it's sad. And just as he turned around and laughed, and I just don't want this to be like the end of, or like put a rift in their friendship or like put something, you know what I mean? Like, but I feel like that's what Killua was concerned about. Now I kind of get that line from a few episodes back a little bit more. Um, so at the very least, we're going to get Kamugi in stable condition. Like you have to think too, because if the king cares this much about a human being, not only does that open up a lot of possibilities about the king, but think logically. The king could take out the whole earth, and the king has something that he cares about, and we're going to let that die? Like, do you realize the kind of rage the king will probably fly into? He'd probably destroy the earth. Um, the thing is, I don't think, I just, I don't think Gon is thinking that far ahead. I don't think he's capable of thinking like that when he's in this mode. So, you know... That being said, um, I really just want to see what's going to happen next. Uh, like I said, you know, I gave a huge essay at the end of my last reaction. So refer to that if you want to hear more detailed thoughts on last episode. It's just there's just so much to unpack with this, you know. I can't wait to see where it's going. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm all of the above. Without further ado, what do you say? We just go ahead and jump into this next episode of Hunter Hunter. Let's do this. You could see how it affected him. He just still bit his lip and... God. How could you say that, Gone? How could you say that? Oh, that's why he left. Nice! Hey, that helped! Oh, no. You are really barking up the wrong tree here. Um... Here's the thing, you will die by Grandpa's hands. Do not do this. <laughs> okay, yeah. Why is this Grandpa's problem? 
Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> you are going to die. Oh, he f he's affected by that. I almost feel bad for this individual. Mm. Yeah, here's the thing, though. You've never dealt with an opponent like this. <laughs> Did he just blow him up? Oh, that's what he did. Okay, the dad, dad is here. And dad has, oh, okay. Um, I, I think it's safe to say this individual's dad. <laughs> it's so brutal. Okay, so they knew about it. Oh, you sons of. Oh, man. Cool. All right. Okay. You could do it, babe. Whoa. Oh. Oh, oh crap. Okay. Wow, he's good at, he's good at escaping. Wow, nice. Why? <gasps> Don't tell me he's going back for, shoot. <gasps> oh crap, shoot is still in there. Okay. Does anyone know the king's not even there anymore? <laughs> oh no. <gasps> He's in bad shape. Oh no. He's alive. But for how long? He say and, and this in this individual still trying to move. I mean, you just got to just admire the determination. Yep. Well, we're basically not even worth. Yeah. That's the way UP sees it. That's pretty disrespectful, yeah. Oh, man. Could we, though, on the other hand, just get shoot out of here and get him to safety? You did awesome. <gasps> what? How? And? Oh. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's gotta. Ah, that, it sucks. I'd rather see your buddy live, to be honest with you. How do you recover from that? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Also, though, like, shoot still was out for the count here, so that might not make him feel better. He's thinking it. Ah, he's like, that's my job, but also... Go give him heck. It's it's super disrespectful. <laughs> He's like, I don't care what my job is. Get him good for me. Please don't die. This is this is this is their their pride. This is their pride as fighters and hunters. Yeah, I mean, I get it, and I don't want them to be humiliated, but at the same time, I would love for them to live. Poof's a little busy at the moment. How's, how's your transformation going? Yeah. 
Oh, he's gonna worry about. Hmm. Yeah, no one knows what's going on in any of the other, on either side, really. No one knows what's going on. I don't think Poof's priorities are real straight right now. I think maybe they're all capable of a lot more individual emotion than we originally thought. He's been in bad spots before. Yeah, he's not going to let his emotions get the better of him. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> that's really not helping the anxiety. Been worse for our crew, but almost on the other hand, like they were super disrespected by what he did. Oh, <laughs> Knuckle, <laughs> you crazy, crazy man. But is pride worth your life? Maybe they... You know, they take this really seriously, so to them, maybe. Oh, crap. They, so... Yeah, he's gonna be like, um... Whoa. That was too much. <gasps> so, like, what we saw wasn't even Yuppie transformed. This is Yuppie transformed. It's uh, just a slide and take him right the heck out of there. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing. If Don't you dare go back. D Not yet. Yeah. It's... <laughs> yep. Which is what you should have been doing like five minutes ago. Oh, no. Oh no, we're not going to be able to get out of here, are we? Please don't tell me we're going to die for nothing. What? Oh, I see. So we kind of discovered ourselves in the midst of all this. Destroying is really Yuppie's thing. Not so much protecting. But they each kind of have their uses to the king, like destruction, healing. What? Oh, is while he's... Oh. He's not going to be able to protect... Oh, yeah, and that will make him use up. Yeah, that's true. Oh. So, you do, yeah. Still, still are loyal to the king and, like, everything you do. Oh, no, see... They, they have like a focus, the guards, you know what I mean? They're focusing that energy. Crap. <sighs> Enraged and composed. Someone should teach that to go. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of themes here, you know? Because I am seeing the theme of like, not being able to harness your emotion in a way that's going to help you in battle. You know, we even saw it with the wolf individual who got so inside their own head, you know. Um, or uh, Chitu who got so carried away with the wanting to defeat uh, Morau that, oh man, dad came in straight up crushed. <laughs> like that, it, it was so brutal. It, it was so brutal, but it was almost like... I won't say funny, but there's just almost something about it that's sort of, <laughs> like, just, oh man, no, it's never going to get that chance now. I knew as soon as Chitu approached the, the grandpa, I'm like, 
yeah, no, you're going to die. You, you don't want any part of this. Trust me. Uh, but man, like it's so hard to watch this whole situation with Knuckle and shoot and you be, because again, like they're, they're going off of the plan in order to like justify their dignity and self-respect as fighters, as hunters. And I get that, but at the same time, like what we're facing is an opponent who's not going to do that. They're not thinking of themselves. They're thinking of how to serve the king. So they're going to harness their ability to the best of their ability. Um, emotion is not going to get in the way. And I think we really need to be careful about that because, man, I just, I feel like... Then again, you know, if Yupi had found this power and Knuckle and Shoot weren't in the way, would we be off destroying something and causing more trouble? So, I mean, I guess there's that way to look at it, too. But, man, I'm just like, guys, don't let your pride get in the way. Like, you could heal your pride. You can't heal being dead. <laughs> Except we might be able to heal Kite being dead. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'll be so happy about. Meanwhile, Goan's keeping his watch. So Killua was going to... Killua and Meliorum were going to help. So they might still be in this battle too with Yupi. Uh, you know, three minutes has passed. So meanwhile, Natano and the king are just... They're just still flying high <laughs> on the dragon. Like, they haven't even gotten to... Like, it's crazy to think all of this has happened in a matter of minutes. Um... Because it's taking us, like, hours to go over it all. But, like, this is how quickly it's happening. So, to, like, anyone just looking at this from the outside, like, this is probably... I would be shocked if this wasn't resolved one way or another in, like, 20 minutes total. Um, and this is, I mean, we we just finished, what was that, episode 117? And I think there's only, like, 140-something of the show... So, we're in the last, like, what, 20-something episodes? So, is 20-something episodes going to equate to, like, an hour in their time, I wonder? Um, but, man, yep, so I think I, I think I said my piece there about Knuckle and Shoot. It's, it is, it's super disrespectful, it's, it's a big letdown, but, man, you guys, um, just don't die. Like, seriously, don't die. But I get that they're like, we couldn't live with ourselves if it ended this way, like, they, I think to a degree, like he even said, we, we came here preparing to die and dying would almost be better than like just being looked at is so insignificant, but I'm like, you guys, I just want you to live. But see, I'm being selfish by saying that. So, cause that's not what they want. They want to, um, do something here that they can be proud of, whether it kills them or not. So hopefully Killua and Meliron will show up and help. I think between all of them and the fact that there may actually be a weakness in that charge up, um, we might be able to pull something off here. But again, like, Yupi is acting on total selflessness, which means pride, ego, all that stuff's not going to get in the way. So we really need to be careful um, in dealing with that. So, um... All right, you guys. So we might not get, if only three minutes has passed and Pito needs an hour, we might not get the actual Pito fight. Well, first we need to get Pito to heal Kite, right? That was the, the deal. And then I'm assuming we're going to fight Pito. But that might not happen if an hour is like 30 episodes. Well, there's not even 30 episodes left. But if an hour is going to be, it might be like the last episode of the series. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? They might fight the king and everything beforehand. Um, I, I would be I would be happy if like the last thing we did in the series was like to see Kite come back to life and be like, what's going on? What happened while I was out? Also, like, how in the heck are we going to heal Kite? Because Kite is dead. Kite is dead and being manipulated. Now I get that Pito can heal, but can Pito bring people back to life? I have a feeling there's probably more to it than that. If we're that sure that Pito can do something, then there's got to be more to it. So, all right, guys, that was an excellent episode. We are in the thick of it now. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please, please be sure to join me next time. <laughs> As this just gets crazy and crazier, I will need you. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.